and it does polish the water I have to say that and just wanted to update you guys on the leather coral all right now the lens is on Hey guys, it's Tom again. Before I forget, next week I'm traveling to my wife's homeland, Croatia. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload, but I'm going to make every effort that I can to maybe upload something reef oriented or something like that so we don't miss a week. It might be kind of fun. Anyway, today's video, I thought I'd show you how I'm recording some of my videos with the polyp lab coral view lens it's a macro lens that's allowing me to get really nice images with my iphone also i have my thoughts and a little bit of a review on the water box 20 gallon filter sock so we'll take a look at that i also have a few things going on in the five gallon tall i'm also thinking about another video during midweek and I was thinking of calling it Water Change Wednesday, where I'll open it up to questions and I can answer. And maybe if I don't get enough questions in the beginning, I'll create my own questions that may be relevant to what you guys are going through with your tanks and answer them. And then maybe we'll get something started and we'll call it Water Change Wednesday, even though I do my water changes on Sunday. So let's see how that'll go. What else do we need to talk about today? All right, let's get into the video. I just wanted to update you guys on the leather coral that we fragged and I put in there last week. So it's attached, hasn't fallen off, and it looks to be nice and healthy. Very nice. The zinnia is attached to the live rock, and that's doing quite well. That's a nice shot. All right, here's the coral view lens from Polyp Lab, and this is what I'm using to take close-ups. It's a macro lens and it also includes a orange filter lens which eliminates blue. This is what comes inside. It comes with this clip-on. Clip this on your phone so it's centered. Your lens is centered. The camera lens. And I also, if you notice, recommend that you don't use it over a case, a phone case, because then it's pushing the lens further away from your camera lens. That's my wife and I at the Grand Canyon. All right, so now let's see what we can do here. All right, now the lens is on. You can see how much you can zoom in on the table. See, I'm over here. You can get quite close with this. I also have some hair algae in these little clumps around the tank. Just a few. So what I'm going to do is go in and manually remove them and let the hermit crabs do the rest. I have one there. I noticed they're in low flow areas. Down there. It's not a problem at all yet. But I'd like to get rid of it. This is the tank at 1040 AM. My AI Prime is almost at its full spectral 
ramp up at about 60% and my Kessel is dominant blue. I don't have a percentage, but I'll show you what the orange lens does when you put it on. So it does that to it. I'm kind of lightening it a little bit. That's not bad. All right, so you got that. And then if I take it off, you got that. So that's the orange lens. All right, guys. I know I've been promoting to some degree the filter sock for the 20 gallon water box cube. And I really like the way it polishes the water. However, if you put a brand new one in, and I'll show you what they look like. You put a brand new one in, it's only going to last about a week before it clogs. This is a 225 micron sock and it fits down in the first compartment in the water box and it does polish the water I have to say that but it begins to slow the flow down substantially if you wash these which I have been doing I wash in a washing machine I put a tiny bit of bleach in there and it gets them white again but I don't think it's getting all the particulate out because after the first time use it begins to clog up again much quicker so at this point I've foregone the use of the water box filter sock and I'm just making that comment uh, it does polish the water but you're gonna have to go through quite a bit you might get one washing out of it or two washings but then in a matter of three or four days it begins to clog now that also depends on your aquarium you know maybe my tank has got more particulate in it than it did in the beginning because I wasn't seeing that in the beginning so maybe you could let me know in the description below all right that's it for this one guys like always have a great day I'll try to upload next week and I'll see you on the next one Like always, have a great day.